Yo, what's going on YouTube? Onyx, back on this Ultimate Team. Uh, first and foremost, if you want to buy some Ultimate Legends, today is definitely the day. Uh, probably today and tomorrow. More so today, they will definitely be a lot cheaper today because this bundle just came out with this bundle topper where anybody that opens this bundle get a random 99 overall Ultimate Legend. So, be on the lookout for their prices dropping. If you're trying to buy an Ultimate Legend, uh, definitely should pick one up today. If you got the coins for it, they're definitely going to be a lot cheaper. Or if you got the coins and you want to make a quick flip, pick one up today while it's cheap. And then wait a couple days till like the end of the week or whatnot and resell them. And his price should be gone back up uh, after the new ones that get thrown up on the block today. Because uh, the, the market's going to get flooded with them today. And then after that, uh, it's going to go back to normal. But new NFL Movers cards, as you can see, we're already on Roy Hallou. Um, they really did this guy dirty. Honestly, I've already seen the cards. They did him super dirty. Especially once you see the Stevie Johnson card. You'll understand why I say they did him dirty. Roy Hallou Jr. Um, I'm an Eagles fan, so I've seen a lot of Redskins games. Um, mainly because we play them twice a year and then on top of that I live in Maryland so they're always on my goddamn TV like it sucks but yeah um, Roy Hallou was like that change of pace back he was like the speed back but EA decided to give him 93 speed 97 Excel is nice but only 93 speed I definitely feel like he should be faster than 93 speed that 85 agility is like a smack in the face like that's that's kind of sad. Like he's like a one cut run straight run. Like he's like Darren McFadden. Like you can only run straight. Like you're fast when you run straight, but if you got to turn, you're SOL. That's all that's all I'm saying. Uh this card definitely does not look worth picking up um even for the 3000 coins that he's selling for right now. I would probably pick somebody else up for the 3000 coins honestly. If you can find another running back for 3,000 goins, that's an elite. Uh, he's probably going to do better than this Roy Hallou will do for you. Anyway, if you can't find one for 3,000 coins, I would play some solo challenges and save up some coins and get like seven or 8,000 and pick somebody else up. Because he does not look like he's going to do too much for you. I mean, honestly, 85 agility is horrible. I mean, at least he can catch. He's a good pass blocker. But outside of that, everything else is pretty average. Has a decent stiff arm. A decent spin move I mean juke move but everything else is super garbage below average but um you'll see what I'm talking about they actually did did a couple people dirty they did Roy Hallou dirty and they did my 24-hour card dirty too but for whatever reason this guy this guy right here is juiced this guy is juiced I would love for anybody anybody to tell me when the hell did Stevie Johnson get this fast? 95 speed with 99 Excel? Please, I would love any type of explanation for this. 99 Excel? 95 speed. Anybody who's ever seen Stevie Johnson play, you know he's not the fastest. He was more of a route runner, possession receiver. He gets open because he ran good routes, and he, he could catch. He was never blowing past people. He wasn't destroying you off the line. I've never seen it. And then he, he was in San Francisco last year, and you didn't hear too much about him. So why in the hell did he get this juiced-ass card with 99 XL, 95 speed? And it's funny saying a juiced card when it's only a 93 overall. But, I mean, uh, everything else on it looks pretty good. And the, the catching traffic, catch elusiveness, route running. Elusiveness might be a little too high for him, too. But everything else looks good. I'm just saying it's juiced off of this 99 Excel 95 speed. That I don't understand. I really don't understand that. Um, but since he has it, I highly recommend picking this card up. The only, the only downfall of this card, especially seeing how cheap he is, is his run block is garbage. 36 run block with a 40 impact block. So yeah, um... He's garbage in that part of the game, but when it comes to receiving for a cheap receiver, as you can see, he's down to 8,000 8, already, 8,800 or 9,000 basically. Um, 
it really don't get too much better for a 9k receiver it really doesn't six foot two 95 speed 99 excel it really does not get too much better 96 catching traffic is definitely decent it's actually pretty good for a budget receiver 93 route running is really good for a budget receiver um, 92 release is also really good I mean he really has everything you need outside of run blocking and I feel like they juiced all hell out of this card <laughs> to be honest they juiced the shit out of Stevie Johnson I don't really understand it he is not that fast I don't care what anybody says I've never seen Stevie Johnson have 99 acceleration really but this card here and he's only going for 39k too this 39k for this card is extremely cheap jump on him now this is a nice looking card 92 speed 92 play rec 95 excel 95 tackle 95 pursuit 94 zone coverage uh, he's not a 3-4 linebacker. He's not that good in the pass rush department. 87, only 87 block shit, and I think he has like 85 finesse move. But in the coverage department and tackling department, he is very good. 87 catch. He's 6-2. He's kind of got that that uh, that uh Khalil Mack type of stats, except Khalil Mack has all of these stats, plus he has crazy block shit and power move finesse move stats too so uh that is why khalil mack is so much more expensive but outside of that um if you just need a 4-3 linebacker this is your guy especially for 39k um 39k is way cheaper than this card should be he is very good 94 zone coverage with 87 catch he's 6-2 he's fast um he, he's, he's really everything you need in a linebacker 93 jump He's everything you need in a 4-3 linebacker, and he's very cheap right now, so I would suggest going to get him. Like, he's 39k, and he's not that much worse than this Levante David. Levante is just killing him in play rec. That's like the main thing Levante's killing him in. Levante's destroying him in play rec, but as you can see, Levante has 95 zone coverage compared to Bruce Carter's 94 zone coverage. Their speed is very comparable. He has more acceleration than Levante. Obviously, he can't tackle like Vontae. He doesn't have the pursuit. I mean, he's only a 95, even though Vontae's only a 96. But still, he doesn't have Vontae's pursuit and tackle. But he, he has his speed. He still has good enough play rec. And he has very good catch. Vontae doesn't have that catch. I think Levante's catch is like 66, which is like his main downfall. Even though he still catches stuff for you, but 66 is just... I'd rather have 87 than 66. And especially if I can have 87 catch for 39k. So I highly recommend Bruce Carter. I highly recommend that juiced ass Stevie Johnson. Um, I would stay away from Roy Hallou. And I would stay away from, I hate to say it, but this 24 hour Byron Maxwell. I would stay away for a while. Even at 410k, which is the cheapest one up, it's too expensive. And it's kind of sad that it's too expensive, but it is too expensive. And just to, to give you an idea of why I say it's too expensive, let's let's go to the other 400k receivers. Actually, let's go to the receivers that are cheaper than him. He's barely better, if he's better, than this DRC. To be honest, he might not really be that much better than DRC. DRC has better play rec. Uh, they have the same man coverage. DRC's faster. DRC's beating them by an inch in height. Their awareness is pretty much the same. Um, and for over 100k cheaper, I would recommend picking up DRC. I mean, Pat Pete is 50k cheaper than him. Charles Woodson is cheaper than him. And he is still one of the best cornerbacks on the game that's not a golden ticket or 24-hour cornerback. Uh, Sherman is cheaper than him. All of these cards are cheaper than Byron Maxwell, and I would pick all of them. Other than maybe Vontae Davis. I would probably pick up Byron Maxwell over Vontae Davis just off of the height thing. But other than that, uh, he should be cheaper than all of these cards. Like, Byron Maxwell, for him to sell, he should be at like 300 k right now. He should be cheaper than Patrick Peterson because he is not better. And I will show you exactly what I mean. And it's kind of sad because he's new. Uh, 100 zone coverage looks nice. But the stuff that doesn't look nice, only 87 awareness, only 92 play rec. feel like they kind of shitted on him on that. 
97 press looks nice, 97 speed with 99 excel, all looks nice, but once again, the 87 awareness and the 92 play rec is kind of on the low end, especially for a 99 overall cornerback, especially going up against those other 99 overall cornerbacks who are cheaper than him and just as good. Uh, Pat Pete basically has the same play rec and awareness, but he's faster than him. And the one thing they did do good on this Byron Maxwell, though, they finally gave my boy some catch, 84 catch, because every other card he has has like 50 catch, like 52 catch or something stupid like that. But they finally gave him some catch. Uh, we, we know he's pretty good in the run game too. He's 6'1", 95 jump is nice. Um, decent block shit at 70. Good pursuit. Good man in zone coverage. Um, no spec catch though. I, I don't really understand that either. He has no spec catch whatsoever. So that kind of sucks when it comes to those jump balls. Because uh, a lot of the cornerbacks that stop those face catching throws are the ones that will get the face catching animations against the face catching receivers. So like Pat Pete and Sherman and stuff like that, that'll go up with those one handed animations just like the receivers. They're the ones that usually stop those throws. Byron Maxwell is not gonna do that. Um, but at least they gave him some catch this time. But yeah, he has good tackle, good hit power. But as I said, he is definitely not worth more than 400K. Um, I would leave him alone until he drops under 400K. Just because of the simple fact that 87 awareness, especially for a new cornerback, is just, it's not that great. It's really not that great. That's kind of turning me off. The awareness and the play rec is kind of turning me off. Like, decent play rec, but 87 awareness, like, he has lower awareness in play rec than, like, Tracy Porter, the 97 overall Tracy Porter, which is kind of just upsetting. But, that's all the new cards for today, and that's going to be it for this one. I'm Onyx, and I'm out of here.